Look at me. Just as all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine forever! Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Janice and I'm with Craftastics DIYs. Today I put together fall Halloween mixture of some different types of crafts and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get crafting. Okay, so I've been looking around some Halloween stores and I seen a Halloween coffin. I'm It's kind of creepy, but I decided to make one. So what you're going to need is uh, two sheets of foam board. And what I did is I took the Dollar Tree coffin sign and I traced it. And now right now I'm using one of my blades I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm cutting it out. This was supposed to be part of my last um, video, but I didn't have time to finish it. So I added it to this one. So now that one's completed. Now I'm going to um, make another one because you need two. One for the bottom, one for the top. Uh, my kitty's in the the camera. <laughs> he's, uh, he's watching me like, what you doing, mom? <laughs> so I realized um, I didn't have enough white foam board, so I took some of the black foam board. Now I'm cutting out the sides of the coffin. Um, I'll leave the measurements and stuff in the description below um, if you're interested in making it. So how I got the dimensions, I actually took a measuring tape and I measured the top portion of the coffin along the sides, the bottom, and the top. And that gave me the dimensions of what um, you could see right here. I'm measuring the side and that's what I need to cut out for the sides, two of them. Um, there's an angle and then there's a long portion of the side. Now, it de depends on what the depth of the um, coffin you want to make it. I did three inches. So I'm just cutting out all the um, corners, the sides, the tops, and the bottoms right now. I'm using the black foam board to make the top portion of it. Now I'm taking some toothpicks because I can't hold it together myself. So the toothpicks held it together for me. So um, when I'm ready to hot glue it, it makes it so much easier. Okay, so now it's put together. All the toothpicks are holding it together. Um, I'm going to go back in my craft room and I'm going to take the hot glue and I'm going to put hot glue all inside. Once it's securely um, glued, I'm going to start taking out the toothpicks. But your choice if you want to leave the toothpicks in, you certainly can. You just break them off. So I'm taking these two little hinges that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to glue it to the side um, and attach it to the front of the coffin so this way it will open. So I got this skeleton obviously from Dollar Tree and I'm going to uh, cut off all the tags and everything and I'm going to give it one coat of the plaster Waverly chalk paint. Okay, so my little friend Earl is um, freshly painted with one coat. Now I'm going to take the front of his face and I'm going to take some black uh, apple barrel paint and just paint his eyes and nose. So 
So I'm using the Apple Barrel black paint and I'm just going to paint the whole entire uh, coffin. So I used my Cricut and I came up with a, st a stencil and I'm going to apply it to the side of the box. Okay, so I'm taking the Waverly chalk paint in white and I'm just going to lightly dab it all around the words um, so it doesn't uh, bleed through. Okay, so that's what it says, Rip Earl. <laughs> and now I'm going to take this little round uh, wood piece that I got from Dollar Tree. And this little skeleton head comes in, a, I think, 10 or 15 pieces from Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint it white. And I'm going to paint the wood round um, neon green. You know, I never decorated a coffin before, and um, so I was just kind of like going with it, and I just couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do to the top of it, so I guess I just kind of left it simple. This is really bright neon green. I got this at Michael's, and it actually glows too in the dark. So I'm going to place the little uh, oval piece on top and hot glue it along with the little skeleton on top of the oval piece. It's very cool. Very bright. Okay, so what's a coffin without spiders, right? Okay, so I got these from Dollar Tree and I'm going to hot glue them on the side um, and let a few of them on top as well. I really wanted to put like the spider web um, Dollar Tree cells on top. But unfortunately, my Dollar Tree didn't have any, so. So I'm uh, gluing a few more on the side. Um, and that's what it looks like. It's pretty creepy. So I got to make Earl comfortable inside. So I grabbed a little tiny pillow. And um, this scarf I got from Dollar Tree, I'm going to place it inside. Uh, put the scarf over the little pillow and um, make it cozy. Now I'm placing the skeleton inside. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to keep the top portion open. Because I want his hand holding the top. So I used a popsicle stick and I used my black marker and um, painted it and I actually glued it in the back end of the coffin. Now I'm going to place some hot glue on the skeleton's hand and attach it to the top portion and it looks like he's holding it up. So I got this snake at Dollar Tree and I painted it black and white and um, red eyes <laughs> and I'm going to place it inside to make it look like it's actually coming out from inside. And this is the end results. It came out so creepy. What do you guys think?
Okay, for this DIY, it's very easy um, for you crafters that are not really sure that you can do crafting. This is perfect for you. It gives you an opportunity to try something new. I took this Dollar Tree frame and I ripped a page out of a book. And I used my Cricut once again. And I found the bird on the branch and made a stencil. Um, if you don't have a Cricut, you can go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby. They have so many different types of stencils. So I just used black uh, paint and just used a little dauber from Dollar Tree. Um, I have to be careful pulling this contact paper I used from Dollar Tree because it wasn't as sticky as the regular vinyl because I didn't want to rip the page. So I was removing it slowly. I'm just removing little pieces left behind from the contact paper. This is really perfect for Halloween if you want to like decorate your walls or a specific area in your house. So now I'm going to measure, uh, make sure it fits um, on the backing of the frame. But I didn't want to flip over the uh, image because it's still a little bit wet. So I'm just measuring um, with it on top and then I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to put a little super, not super glue, uh, almost glue on the back of the frame and then place it back inside. And this is it. It's cute. It's perfect for Halloween. And it looks like something you bought from the store. Okay, so this DIY is so cute. I took these little harvest uh, pins of like little apple pies and this little box from uh, Dollar Tree. I'm using the apple red um, paint and I'm going to paint the box with the apple red. Um, this by far is my favorite DIY. I love the color. I love apples, the fall, the color, everything. Okay, so that's dry, and I'm taking some uh, couple paints that I'm going to paint the little uh, pin, um, the apple pie pin. I believe one was sheepskin color paint, um, and the other one was just regular beige. So it's dry. I'm going to take some of the straw I got from Dollar Tree, place it inside with a few of these little fake apples that I got last year. I used my Cricut and cut out some more vinyl words and it's going to read hot apple pie. Now I'm going to take this black and white checkered uh, ribbon that I have and I'm going to hot glue it or wrap it around the side of the little box. Okay, so although it looks cute like that, I had to take it off because um, the apples, <laughs> it, it wouldn't fit with the apples. So I put a little bow instead in front. Now I'm going to hot glue the hot apple pie pin down to the front. And uh, put more apples on top and finish it off. It is so adorable. I just love this DIY how it came out. This is where I changed it and placed the bow in front. It's still cute. Love it. Okay guys, last DIY. This is a very pretty DIY. It comes out amazing. 
I call it my glamour pumpkin. <laughs> You'll see why. Um, I'm just showing you a bunch of things that, uh, that you will need to make it. Um, lights, frames, the big orange pumpkin, some little diamonds, uh, not diamonds, but you know what I mean. You get those from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to take the tags off the pumpkin and I'm going to take the knife. There's an actual uh, seam that you can follow and cut it. And that's exactly what I did. It makes it easier to cut. Um, okay, so I'm going to take this black apple barrel paint and I'm going to start painting the pumpkin. So I'm removing everything from the back of the frame. I'm going to actually use just the glass and um, just cleaning off my area with my nifty nifty turtle. So I bought this from Dollar Tree. It's very pretty. I'm going to Mod Podge the glass. I'm going to lay this over the Mod Podge. Actually trying to make sure it matches because it has like the leaves when I had to cut it. So I'm just matching it up right now. So I did cover the top portion of it with some Mod Podge. Now I'm just cutting the excess around the side. So I'm also going to be using this Harvest um, sign that I got from Dollar Tree along with the Thankful one as well. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is take this pumpkin. I'm going to have to carve there's a portion of it. it's also got a, a seam that you follow and um, you cut out that portion as well um, right here. Also going to be using that sheet of little diamonds from Dollar Tree. So I'm taking a strip of those little um, diamonds and I'm going to place them where the little creases on the pumpkin. Um, one's going to be long and then the next one will be a little bit shorter and so forth around the whole entire pumpkin. And that's the diamond look to it. That's why I call it my glamour pumpkin. <laughs> now I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to place the harvest sign right on top of the glass portion of it. So I'm removing the little tabs that are inside the frame. Be careful because these frames are very chintzy. Every time I was pulling it out, it was ripping a portion of the back of the frame out. But anyways, um, now I'm going to take some hot glue once I place the glass back in and hot glue the entire back end of it to make sure it doesn't fall out. Now I'm taking a bunch of different type of um, uh, floral from Dollar Tree. Also, this light, what are they, fairy lights? I got this from Hobby Lobby. Um, I rolled it around the battery and I'm going to place it inside the pumpkin, which once you turn it on, it looks amazing. Look how cute that is. I love it. <laughs> then I am going to place some of the flowers that I got from Dollar Tree. Your choice, you could pick whatever you want. I just chose these, these few particular ones, no reason behind it, just thought it looked pretty. Um, I'm going to place them inside and then you will see the finished product. I also made a second one off camera, um, the one with a thankful sign. Look how pretty that is. That is so glamorous. I love it. For Dollar Tree products, the only thing is the lights are from Hobby Lobby. But that is gorgeous. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching my video. Once again, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.